सी ए क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम इनवर्स लपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म वी नीड टू फाइंड द इनवर्स लपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ वन अपॉन एस स्क्वायर एस स्क्वायर प्लस फाइव सो लेट्स फ्लैश बैक इन टू द कन्वोल्यूशन थ्योरम विच से दैट इफ लपलास इनवर्स ऑफ एफ बार एस इज कैपिटल एफ ऑफ टी एंड लपलास इनवर्स ऑफ जी डैश एस इज कैपिटल जी ऑफ टी then laplace inverse of f bar s into g bar s that will uh, be given by 0 to t now in first you replace this t by u in the second you replace this t by t minus u integrate with respect to u this is the basic convolution theorem so if we use that laplace inverse of 1 upon s square is t because you know that laplace inverse of 1 upon s power n plus 1 is t power n divided by n factorial we'll use that you will get t now second one is laplace inverse of 1 upon s plus 5 so you know that laplace inverse of 1 upon s plus a is e power minus at so e power minus 5 now if we find laplace inverse of this product 1 upon s square to 1 upon s uh, s plus 5 simply so you will get 0 to t in the first replace this t by u and in second replace this t by t minus u du okay so you will get integral uh, you can uh, write this 0 to t u e power minus 5t into e power 5u du because this is not a part of this integration so you can take this out 0 to t u e power 5u du first function second function apply integration by parts so you will get from 0 to t first function as it is integration of e power 5u is e power 5u divided by 5 minus integral of derivative of u with respect to u is 1 integral of e power 5u is e power 5u divided by 5 and then again integration so you will get you can uh, take 1 by 5 common so e power 5 minus 5t divided by 5 from 0 to t you have u e power 5u minus Again, you will be left with integral of e power five u du after taking this five out. So that again gives you e power five u divided by five. Okay. Now again, if you want, if you wish, you can take this five again common. So you will be left with twenty five here, and after taking LCM, you are left with five u e power five u minus e power five u. Okay. so now if you put the limits so e power minus 5t divided by 25 uh if i start putting my limits uh, let's first simplify it further so you can take e power 5u common you are left with 5u minus 1 now it will be better if you take uh if you point the limits now so you have e power minus 5t by 25 and 0 to t e power 5u and 5u minus 1 okay so this is e power minus 5t divided by 25 if you put t here you will get e power 5t 5t minus 1 if you put 0 e power 0 is 1 and you are getting minus 1 so upper minus lower and minus 1 is your lower after putting lower limit So this is e power minus five t by twenty five five t e power five t minus e power five t plus of one. Fine. Now if you take this term inside, so one upon twenty five five t e power five t multiplied by e power minus five t minus e power five t multiplied by e power minus five t. Plus e power five t multi minus five t multiplied by one, so you are getting one upon twenty five. This will give you e power zero, which is one. So five t from here, 
again this will give you e power 0 which is 1 so minus 1 from here and plus e power minus 5 t. so you are getting this as your final answer so Laplace inverse of 1 upon s square s plus 5 is giving you 1 by 25 5t plus e power minus 5t minus 1 as your final answer so let's look at this once again this was the basic of convolution theorem and then this uh, basic formula Laplace of 1 upon s plus a is e power minus e a t and then the basic integration which you know from the lower standards we just use that got to our final answer